Neil Williams here, president of Turnkey Parlor, and what we're going to do is just kind of quickly go through um, the control panel on our OX500. Um, right here, you've got this is the clean button, okay? So when you're going to clean the machine, you're going to hit this button. Uh, this is the stop button. The stop button is used anytime you have a problem. Um, you know, if the machine is, is screaming or any kind of issue, you're going to hit stop uh, just to have the machine rest. So when you're cleaning it and you're dumping water out and all the water is out of the cylinder, you'll hit stop just so that the beater isn't beating a cylinder, a dry cylinder. You don't want to have that, okay? Um, auto is the automatic, okay? When you first make product, you hit auto and it'll go through an automatic cycle. Manual is only used uh, during times that the machine is being overworked and the auto uh, cycle isn't going to be enough. When you uh, need the machine to crank and freeze again and auto isn't cycling it enough, you're going to want to hit manual and that'll do it. Okay. Um, up here you've got, that just means the machine is on, that first red button. The next one is a flashing blue button okay and that uh, or a flashing blue light so that light there means that the the hopper up here is low on product okay if it's a blue flashing light it means it's low on product um, this thing here is the low product indicator so if this is floating downward right now the machine is obviously empty so this thing's all the way at the bottom and it's going to flash that uh, little light. These are the uh, what are called air tubes. Okay, the product flows through that bottom hole. Always make sure that's at the bottom when you want the product to flow through. Okay, put the cover back on here. So when that's flashing, it means you need mix. Uh, you don't want to run it very long without having um, the hopper full where it needs to be and that light being solid. Um, and then the top light means that it's either cleaning or that it's freezing the ice cream and that'll turn green um, right now we're not going to start it because we don't have any product in there and you don't want to run the machine without product so if we were hitting auto after we filled it up with product that would turn green and this would go from 115 to 4.6 4.7 amps it would start telling you how it's working and then it'll go through like a 10 minute cycle and then once the cycle's done, it'll go back and show 115. 115 basically tells you that it's ready to serve product after the first load. Um, it doesn't have to be showing 115 to be to serve product because periodically it'll go through a cycle throughout the day um, of making you know refreshing the product that's in the cylinder. So when it goes into refresh mode, it will go away from saying 115. And you can still crank the, the, you know, get product out of the machine. But um, once it's gone through that cycle and it's, the beater's not turning anymore, it'll go back to 115. Okay? And then this indicator is the hardness level. It goes from 1 to 8. Okay? And you can go to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and back to 0. Okay? And then 1, 2, 3. So a normal setting is about 4. Um, if you find that the product is too soft, you can go up to a, a six maybe or a seven. Um, we don't recommend uh, the high numbers for sorbets. That's a water-based product. It um, gets a little too frozen if, if you have it at a high number. Sorbets should be at around a two or a three. But um, that pretty much gives you everything you need to know about the control panel. And then we'll walk over here. Um, this is the only other thing that I want to talk about. This is the drip tray. Okay, and you'll see there's product here. Um, you know, if it's not, you should change this drip tray every maybe two to three weeks. Um, this drip tray is designed to just catch water and a little bit of product that comes out of the where the hopper, I mean, where the cylinder uh, crank meets the motor. You're always going to have a little bit of a drip um, there. So, if you forget to put that ripple seal ring in the machine, you'll have a lot more 
than just that little bit of drip in there you'll have it'll overwhelm the drip pan and it'll go into the back of the machine so if you call me saying that the machine it has product in the back of the machine it means that you forgot to put one of the seals in the beater okay uh, but that drip tray should be checked periodically to see to clean that out okay thank you